Hey guys, it's Ellen. So today, I'm getting more news and more speculation on my iPad X, like the iPhone 10. So the X stands for 10. Although the iPad has been around for 24 years, is it still worth it? The iPad X is going to have the same same exact features as the iPhone XR. So that means a one 12 megapixel camera sensor is going to be larger, one microphone, one true tone flash, and then an edge to edge display. But there is also rumors that this will have horizontal face ID. And I'm not even sure that is going to happen. But if it does, that means you can do face ID with your phone like this instead of just taking a look at it, tapping it or raising it up and then you just look at it and then it wakes up. So the iPad X is going to have something just like the iPhone XS and the XX Max. So what's the difference between these new iPad Pros and the older iPad Pro? I don't even think they're going to call it the 11, the 11 inch and iPad Pro, but they should because it's a 10.9 inches of iPad Pro, but an 11 inch is greater than 10.9. So, it should be an iPad Pro. New rumors say that this wallpaper will come in the gold color. Anyways, the iPad X will be coming in a newer, in the same new gold color as the iPhone XS Max. And that's a pretty nice feature. This may start at $1,000 or even above. It depends on where you get it. If you get it on a carrier, it's probably going to be $30 a month, maybe even $40 a month. But if you get it unlocked, just know $9.99, $10.99 will be likely. So I suggest you get it on cellular. So it's actually even worse than the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which is $10.99. Anyways, guys, so the iPad X, should it be worth it? Or why would they call it the iPad X if it's going to come in 11 inch and then 12.9 inch, just like the regular iPad Pro? The iPad X is expected to come with iOS 12.1 pre installed. But, anyways, what are the big differences? Well, first of all, the iPad X or the new iPad Pros 2018, fall 2018, have, you know, a edge to edge display and the new camera sensors and also the new USB-C to USB-A instead of lightning connector USB-C so lightning connector USB-C it's gonna have USB-A at the end instead I'm gonna mean I'm gonna also do a video today on the newer iPad which came out in January which was earlier this month Anyways, let's continue on with the iPad X. It is going to have a 12 megapixel camera sensor. It's going to have the same true depth camera system at the top. So it's going to be wonderful, a wonderful camera system. So is this going to be the best camera system ever? And guess what? I have this new camera robot. That's why you see the picture going up and down, up and down, left and right. I love this. And I have two other camera robots. So, and Taylor's also doing a very good job controlling them. Anyways, what was very funny about the new iPad is that it had support for an Apple Pencil. Now, will the new iPad Pros have support for an Apple Pencil? Um, let's pause that right there. Because I have no Anyways, idea. Anyways, guys, this is another new camera angle. I'm using my robot, and I love it so much. I love using my camera robot here. And this is doing a very good job. Anyways, guys, here's another thing. The iPad X has an edge-to-edge -edge display, so it's kind of going to be a new... Macintosh? No, not really. Anyways, with the MacBooks, Apple is thinking about giving it that edge-to-edge -edge display on the top to where you can have a touchscreen MacBook. And I have an actual rumored picture of that. And I'm going to put it in the editing. And it kind of looks like an iPad, the upcoming iPad Pros this month, on the top with a new, just a new keyboard, which is the keyboard. That's all it is, basically. So, would you want the keyboard? I don't know what you would want. Because it's not my business. Because you want an Apple product, I want an Apple product. But will it come with a lightning connector? Or will it come with USB-C? With USB or will it come with USB-A at the end? So, soon enough, Apple is going to switch to USB-A and put in a 5-watt charger. Now, what if they do that with the iPhone X? 
or XR, which comes out this month. What if they put in a big fast charger? Everybody's going to be happy. So, let's stop the video right there because there's another thing that you don't get. All right, guys. So, the iPad X is going to be coming out within these next few weeks. Now, would you want to buy it or not? Now, what's the difference between the original iPad Pro and the current iPad Pro? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Well, first off, we have new camera sensors and better camera sensors. So, not just new. And we also even have horizontal face ID. So from some new concept images, face ID, your face is your password. Um, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful concept. And it shows the good full screen. And you can also put shortcuts on, you can put shortcuts on to your other applications. And also, don't forget, Apple will be doing Air Power this October as well. All right, so the Apple event for these new iPads could be October 9th, which is in two days. Or it could be Tuesday, October 16th for this year. Or it could be, uh, or one of them is the release date or the unveil reveal date, which would be Tuesday, October 9th when they have the event. And then the pre-orders, or you can buy it. Okay, the wild cords on this is Air Power, AirPods 2, the Apple Pencil 2, and then the lower price HomePod. So, you might not even get HomePod. You might, but you might not. It depends on what you get. Anyways, what we expect is an iPad with the new Face ID, a new entry-level MacBook, an iMac refresh, and also a Mac Mini refresh. So, maybe those could be get something as well so this is from Forbes and they usually have the best thing you go to Forbes.com and you can also see this for yourself I'm gonna get a little bit off track here but Apple may be releasing a new iPod such as every generation for the iPod's 18th year anniversary first iPod was, re was released in October um, of 20 2001 so guys this may be a dream come true for a lot of the iPod fans actually think the iPad X will not be a failure and here you go you see my camera robot I don't think it's going to be a failure I think it actually will be worth it in this age that we're in now so I'll have a live stream tomorrow at 5 o'clock I'll be live in 20 hours and we're going to talk more about it so this is it for today's video subscribe if you like like comment subscribe and if you like more of my camera robot I'm not even moving where the camera robot is there's a disc. But if you like this, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.